Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. In the last couple of sections, we have dealt with hypothesis testing with two means. We had large number of samples, that means greater than 30, and the samples were independent. Two separate groups of people, two cities, two factories, something like that, where everything is solely separate as far as the sampling goes. Here we're going to be doing hypothesis testing, again with two means, but with small independent samples. So what I'm saying here is we still have independent samplings, we still have two different groups of people that are not interacting, but the sample size for one or both of them is less than 30. Remember I told you over and over and over again in those problems, the sample size is greater than 30, then we could use the normal distribution, but both of those pairs of samples, you know, both different sampling that we're doing for the two populations, they had to be greater than 30. When you have one or both, so it just takes one to be less than 30, you're no longer allowed to use the normal distribution. Now if you remember back to original hypothesis testing a long time ago, we also had this deal where it was either greater than 30 samples or less than 30 samples. When it was greater than 30 samples, we always use a normal distribution. That's kind of what we were doing in the last section as well. When we have less than 30 samples, we use the T distribution. Okay, so it's going to be the same thing here. That's why I was telling you to draw parallels. Don't forget that stuff uh, because a lot of it's really the same. Um, the, the main difference, okay, between this section and what we've done before is the test statistic. I need to write the test statistic down on the board for you. It's going to look a little different, but it is going to be a T distribution. So we'll be using the T table, the T chart, T distribution in the back of your book, just like we've done for small samples in the past. And there's one other glitch in here that I need to warn you about, and I'll point it out here on the board as well. It can confuse a lot of students, but there's, there's kind of two different flavors of problem that you can come into when you have the small sampling like this. Let me, um, let me write everything on the board. I'll write the test statistics on the board, because everything else about these problems is the same. It's just the test, statistics, the test statistic is different. And I'll explain the difference between these two test statistics that I'm going to write down. So let me get it on the board, let me talk, and you'll be, become much clearer when we work a problem. So you can have two classes of problems when we're doing this, and they lead to two different test statistics. The first one is called pooled. Uh, a pool type of problem, and that is when you assume that the variances of the two populations, the two populations that we're talking about, are uh, assumed equal. You can never really know if the variances of two populations are equal because a population could be a large amount of people. You might have a million people in, in you know, Fort Worth, uh, as a population, you ha may have a million people in Austin as another separate population. There's no way